Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Before I begin, I just want to tell you that our next video for next week will be about going deeper into Carter FX tape machine. So stay tuned for that. From the beginning of the pandemic, I chose not to talk about it on the channel and try to be positive and give you some good recording advices while trying to be entertaining. This video is about the effects of COVID and social distancing on the musical industry and most specifically on the commercial recording studios everywhere on the planet. My ideas are not black or white, neither are negative nor positive. And this is an invitation to discussion. So let me know in the comments what you think. So let's go. It may not have been the same in every country, but here in Canada, and I suspect in USA also, we went through many phases of lockdown and strict rules. This isn't going to surprise anyone, but the entertaining world was the first to be put aside and may still be the last to be revived when it's all finished. Recording studios did suffer a lot way before the pandemic, since direct sales and CDs are down and being replaced by streaming services, we all know that money is growing thin in our industry. So keeping people at home was bound to have a direct effect on recording studios as artists' impulses to create grew due to isolation. Many of us already had a gnome studio, but it became the only solution for many who wanted to share their work in the last year. So the good thing is the recording gear industry was ready for this situation and they are the ones that profited the most about it. They've been telling us we can sound like pros at home for decades and selling cheaper gear in mass quantity to musicians was already a great business model for them. Now the demand doubled and it's not all negative for us. If it wasn't for this business model, we may not be able to buy affordable gear with fair quality today. With some acoustic treatment, a good mic, an interface, and a computer, anyone can create music. That's the most positive part about it. But apart from some of the biggest studios, many medium-sized facilities have closed here in Canada. Of course, we are not sure if it would have been different without the COVID, but we can speculate. Was this pandemic the last hit on recording studios? No. Of course, there will always be big studios. Their revenues is still important and mostly coming from the movie industry, gaming industry, and some of the top artists. Also, many of them are now selling classes and podcasts where they talk about how it was made in the past how the best classic albums were made back then. They also diversified by recording sample packs for virtual instruments that anyone can use at home. Of course, us musicians are less likely to pay for studio hours when everybody is doing it at home. The good thing is, you can take your time at any time of the day sit down and do your own music. That's great. What isn't so great is less people are going to be able to live from it until the live shows are allowed again. If there's something for sure, people are craving for entertainment right now. Movie, theater, sports, live scenes will bloom again, there's no doubt. What about bands? They too have suffered greatly. Not being able to play live and reunite for band practice is another consequence. 
But I think what we will miss the most is the collective creativity. Music that results of organic reactions between musicians when they play together. To me, this is a kind of dialogue where every member morphs their playing according to what the others are playing and feels. This is something that can't be replaced. Having a full band recording live is something we see less in home studios. Having enough inputs and microphones to record a full drum set and other musicians become expensive if you care about some quality. This might be why many studios like mine will survive. So for all of you who have their own studio already, don't stop to create good music and learn about recording. I will continue to make the most comprehensive videos about techniques and gear so you can avoid making mistakes. Tell me in the comments what you want to learn and what you need to know. I'm planning a mixing exercise and I will invite everybody to participate in a few weeks. And I might also invite you to send me links to your music so we can discuss it together as a community. I'm not asking for Patreon's participation or buy merch or associated gear purchase or anything like that. If you wish to help the channel, click on the like button when you like the video and consider subscribing. Hit the bell to get notifications. Ask any questions and put comments below and of course, share my videos. It's always a great help. Mm -hmm.